Welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I hope you guys are all having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be using my mini blower with my attachments. I had not, I haven't used them in a while, so I thought, why not? I was mixing up uh, some colors and I did a practice uh, tile. I'll show you that in a minute. And so I wanted to, it turned out pretty good I think <laughs> so I wanted to do something a little bigger so the colors that I am using today I've got deco art Americana decor metallics uh, copper um, these two are from Liquitex basics I've got cadmium red light hue and quinacridone magenta and then I'm also going to be using titanium white from Amsterdam um, and so, let me get my gloves on real quick because the tile is still, um, still wet. So, I want to have my gloves on. Alright, so, move it over here. Put it on. And it turned out really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see uh, the detail, but you can definitely see the shininess. So, the glitter. I love that. So I'm gonna do a bigger one. So for the um, the colors, except the white, I mix them all with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol water, and some Golden GAC 800. And they were all mixed one part paint to two parts pouring medium. Now this, the white, I mixed with. Australian Floetrol and that is one teaspoon of the titanium white to three tablespoons of the Australian Floetrol. That's my mix. I use that as my cell activator and that's what works for me. There's different recipes out there um, that work for different people. This is just the one that I use. I've been using it for a year or so. Um, and I get really good results with it. So that's my recipe. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do start off with like a puddle pour and um, go from there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I don't really have any specific um, way to, you know, I don't have any, I haven't decided like beforehand where I'm going to pour them. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. I was just um, trying to be, have a little creative <laughs> fun time. Just, you know, sometimes you need to get a, have a break from, from everything. So I needed, I needed to do that today. My um, Etsy, Etsy shop can be um, quite busy at times. And so I do need I do need a break from that um, and then I get right back to filling my orders <laughs> so um, if you uh, don't know I have designed and created these I guess I should have went over them that's what I'm gonna put that's what I use on the end of my mini blower it comes in the three sizes I'm probably gonna start out with that middle one uh, just because um, and that's actually the most, the strongest one. It's kind of, um, it's more powerful. I guess I, I, I kind of thought that the bigger one would be because it allows more airflow, but the middle one lets it, um, is more concentrated. So that's what I'm going to start with. And then of course the little one is a little bit for more, um, fine detail. So, and the link for those down in my description you can check that out all right so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of move it around a little to get the canvas covered um, I haven't done a puddle pour in like forever so this is kind of fun all right I'm not going to 
go over the edges because I'm gonna um, use my little blower and I'll probably blow some of that off the edges so all right all right so there we go that's as good as it's gonna get for that and so now I'm just gonna take my white cell activator in my bottle and I'm just gonna kind of put it on willy-nilly no real rhyme or reason of where All right, everybody, here we go with the dried photos, and I absolutely love this. I love pretty much everything about it. It was super, super fun to just get to kind of unwind, relax a little bit, get out my little mini blower and the attachments, and just, just you know, play with the paint. I love this color combination. I don't use it as much, and when I do, I remember how much I love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you got anything out of my video today, you could give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you also click the bell. That way you're notified when I upload new videos. And also don't forget to share my video. So if there's someone you think that may enjoy it, you can go ahead and share it with them. It really does help out my channel. All right, guys, if you are in need of any acrylic pouring tools, you can go ahead and check out acrylicpouringtools.com and the link for that is in the description. All right, guys, I do hope you enjoyed my video today. I have a bunch more that I know you will enjoy as well and I will catch you in the next one.